ground within the former Biafran region, thus saving a lot of human and animal lives. After the war, Chief Iwayao returned to the university to complete his education and he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in civil engineering. He then worked as pupil engineer trainee in the Nigerian construction and furniture company NCFC in November 1971. He was promoted to executive engineer within one year of work instead of two because he demonstrated a high degree of practical knowledge of engineering by designing an ocean barge all by himself during the construction of a bridge. His idea of the ocean barge was one with composite section of empty oil drums, which were able to carry a pile driver used for constructing pile foundation in deep sea. This barge was able to stand the static load and the dynamic load of the pile driver. Engineer Wanyang applied to become a registered engineer of the Council of Registered Engineers of Nigeria, citing his barge design and other achievements. Fortunately, he was promptly accepted as a member on April 12, 1972. After the bridge construction project, Emmanuel was transferred to Enugu Airport. He demonstrated great knowledge of the airport designs and this impressed the Dutch engineers at the site that they recommended him for yet another promotion to site agent over and above his Nigerian seniors. He was so promoted by the Nigerian construction and furniture company NCFC. Engineer Iwanyawa contrived a unique idea of mixed design of asphaltic concrete in which asphaltic concrete will be utilized for airport and highway construction other than Makadam. The idea was new in pavement construction in Nigeria. He carried out experiments on flexible pavements and produced a flexible pavement made of asphaltic concrete based on ASHO standard. Before that, most flexible pavements were constructed with macadam based on British standard. The idea was practical and long-lasting. It was later accepted and approved for conventional use by the Federal Ministry of Works. It was a big jackpot for engineer Iwanyango because many contracts were coming to NCFC because of this idea. It occurred to engineer Iwanyango that if he continued in NCFC, he will only be shit changing himself and will not grow faster. He resigned. In 1976, he partnered with two Americans, Harpa and Delano, to go into private engineering contracts. Soon afterwards, the two Americans left Nigeria and engineer Inwayo incorporated the company he had formed with them in Nigeria. The company's name was formed from the first three letters of the names of the two Americans, Harper and Delano, which is Huddle. The remaining name of the company, Enik, was born out of E for Emmanuel and Eudora, N for Nin, Lady Eudora's middle name. I for Iwayao and C for Chukwemeka. Hadal and Any Construction Company was successfully incorporated in Nigeria in 1976. Engineer Iwayao became its chairman and managing director. The flurry of contracts that came into Hadal and Enik was because of the uniqueness of Engineer Iwayao himself. His dexterity in construction and foresight in business helped the company to grow. He introduced a new bridge design which eliminated pile foundations and handrails. An example of this is the Azaregwelu Bridge on Owerumbi Silmaya Road. Before the present design and construction which was done by engineering Wayong, the Azaregwelu Bridge was a scene of many fatal accidents. Soon, the Imo state government and the federal government began to give him contracts. Money began to flow in. Chief Iwayo managed to explode in wealth. His businesses grew into a conglomerate of over 20 companies. He is a thorough and astute speculator whose chains of businesses run through all spheres of economic endeavor.
So far, this business mogul has established about 26 business outfits within and outside Nigeria. They include Hardell and Enic Construction Company Nigeria Limited 1976. Magil Industries Limited 1978, Enic Advertising and Marketing Research Company in Nigeria 1981, Sunshine Insurance Brokers, an insurance broker and finance company, Sunrise Breweries Limited, Sunrise Insurance Brokers Limited 1980, Iwanyang Holdings and Properties Limited 1981, Hadal and Enic International, Togo, Magil Agricultural and Animal Health Products Limited, Champion Newspapers Limited 1986, which publishes Daily Champion, Sunday Champion, Saturday Champion, and Sporting Champion Newspapers, Oriental Airlines Limited 1987, Pacific Trust Consultancy Services Limited 2001, Oriental Shipping Lines Limited 1987, Paradise City Hotel Calabar, Olive Company Nigeria Limited 1983, Aforesen Limited 1988, Hadel and Enic Technical Company Limited 1990, First Atlantic Petroleum Company Limited 1993, Magrico Limited 1987, Subterranean and Aerial Lines Limited 1980, Astro Petroleum Nigeria Limited 1991, Action Lake Limited 1983, Hetco Limited 1990, Kibia Limited 1991, Lamsol Properties London, Champion Communications Limited and Post Communications Limited Publishers of National Post. This business ventures have provided employment for more than 40,000 people. Despite his meteoric rise in prosperity, he made sure to remain humble in his dealings with his fellow human beings. His word is always his bond. In 1991, Business Concord magazine named him the most outstanding business person of that year. By October 1995, he was the largest single shareholder in Progress Bank after the Imo State Government. He was also the chairman of some other banks, including the then ABC Merchant Bank. Chief Dr. Emmanuel Iwayong is a registered engineer by the Council of Registered Engineers of Nigeria. He is a Fellow of Nigeria Society of Engineers, Fellow Institute of Civil Engineers, Fellow Institute of Science and Technology, Fellow Solar Energy Society of Nigeria, Fellow Nigerian Institution of Environmental Engineers, Fellow the Nigerian Academy of Education and many others. At the young age of 39, he was found worthy to be conferred the national honor of the Distinguished Member of the Order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, MFR, by Alahaji Shehu Shagari. This happened on October 1, 1981. Chief Inwayao was about the youngest person who received the award. In politics, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang blazed the entire landscape like a legend. In 1988, he joined active politics and declared his intention to run for the post of the President of Nigeria. And when the then head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida, lifted the ban on politics in 1989, Chief Iwanyang joined a group which later revolved into the Nigerian National Congress, NNC. When IBB approved only two parties created by the government, Social Democratic Party SDP and National Republic Convention NRC, elements of the NNC flooded into the NRC. Chief Iwanyang campaigned intensely to become the NRC presidential flag bearer during its primaries. Chief Iwanyang did not spare his wealth in galvanizing for political support across Nigeria. His private jet was almost always in the sky, flying to campaigns around Nigeria. At a time, he was taken around the north by Malam Abba Dabo, Alhaji Tudun Wada, and Alhaji Muhammadu Kura. Chief Iwanyangu spent heavily appointing coordinators in all the then 453 local government areas of Nigeria. Chief Emmanuel Shukumeka Iwanyangu. I know. Up to 
from Owele to Atta. He been in Atta to his bedroom. He's a philanthropist, a helper who doesn't want to see anybody in suffers. No. He will ask you what is your problem. There and then, Iwanyahu will solve it. We are together with Iwanyahu, myself, Jesu Oduna, um, Chief Ezekiel, Madubuke, Nabia, and the rest of them. You know them all. We toured the whole country. God said, no. It's not his time. When his time has come, Chief looks tired. But he is not tired in assisting as a priest of peace.